Good evening from Cambodia. This is Brent here with another black pepper update. Lots going on. What a time to be alive. So, I think the first thing I'll get out of the way right now is at least for the next week or two, we are not going to have it available for people to make reservations to visit the property. Currently, Cambodia seems to be go going through a, a surge in cases, reported cases, and just in the interest of everyone's safety and whatnot, we're just gonna kind of put things on pause as far as having guests come out to the property and uh, just wait to see how things unfold. With that being said, there are still quite a bit of things and projects that we're going to keep working on. And let me hop out here. This has been something that, let me see if I can get it in the camera here. Been working on painting the boat and uh, it probably looks a lot easier than what it has been to paint. Everything had to be sanded, which I think I mentioned in the previous video, primed. And then we went with kind of like a light blue here. And at the, the ends, this is more of kind of like a, I, I think a traditional Cambodian style, because this was done by uh, Kui, who we actually got the canoe from, and he insisted that we paint it like this. Um, but anyhow, we've got the kind of the maroon accents here, the end in the stripe, and then we're gonna do some kind of like gold accent lines, three gold accent lines, and then these, uh, the stands, we're gonna paint gold, so it should, uh, it should look pretty sharp. And then, you know, behind everything, we'll have more flowers that we're gonna get situated. We're gonna put flowers in both ends of the canoe, build up a bench or two on the inside so people can have a seat and have a cool space to get their photos taken. Over here, actually maybe we'll just do kind of like a more zoomed out perspective but for now this is the area that you know we'll be doing our bonfires if we've had one on New Year's Eve um, we'll also have kind of more simple bungalows for people to do overnight stays um, but kind of in the meantime This big old pile of brush here is kind of being collected. We're going to put some more wood and whatnot. We'll get some wooden posts to set up in kind of like a, like a teepee triangle situation. And we'll probably do the bonfire on or during some celestial event in the future. Gotta wait and see how things unfold here. And you might be able to hear some sawing. 
but we've got Dan and his family, his brothers and father, helping with some projects as well. So we'll definitely be taking advantage of the time that we have. Since we won't be having guests, we'll just keep plugging away on some projects, but you might be able to see the roof before was uh, thatch and we're actually going to do kind of like red ceramic tiles so it'll, well one it'll look nicer and then the thatch roof was actually just a, a temporary roof to begin with so it'll just make the cafe a little more complete and then and then we've got kind of these wooden bamboo shade structures that we're having put in so it'll help with the shade and uh, it'll help you know if it's raining it'll kind of cut the rain a little bit and yeah with that we'll wrap up the update we've got a number of other things that we'll be doing throughout the next couple of weeks just staying busy while we while we see what happens here in Cambodia. You know, wishing everybody well, stay safe, stay healthy. You know, if you're going out into public spaces, wear your mask, wash your hands, just, you know, be easy. Take care and we'll see you in the next update. Peace.